Oh my lads! Who's Oh, Kersey Cop. Edgley Park, home of Stockport County. We're going to have a look around and try and steal stuff. He's going to steal stuff. I'm not. Go for a beer. Ah, there we are. I knew we wouldn't make it through without a picture. Good team, that. Nine cleat sheets in a row. Nine Take that for the paddock, wouldn't you? Good, it? It's good going at any level. Bit upset there's only one picture of me in here, I'm not gonna lie. Pour in yourself one. Oh, we've got the <laughs> froth, haven't we? That's his sh Get that on camera. That is dog <laughs> <laughs> Look at this have you ever done this before? I used to work in a bar, mate. Did you f <laughs> Never done one before in my life. Look at that. I think my pint's better than yours. Smell that, what's that? It's... Neck it. <laughs> oh, I could state it like now, put it down. Look at this, look. Look at this, look. This is my first one ever, ever. Oh, I've got to get the turn. You got it. Mm. Oh, he's f he's f I'd have to be that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted half anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Lots of froth. There's all the players? Yeah. That's quite cool. I mean, I've not looked at it. I've not searched for my name ever before, but I do know that I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I've never looked to see if I was on there, but I do know that I'm there. Funny enough. So as you know, as we mentioned a few weeks ago, I come to the Stockport Salford game. Yep. And then I got downstairs to the bar where I always go. Bear in mind, I, I was here for five years, know most of the people and everything. They treat me really well. And then remember I told you the story, so get here. They said, oh, no, I was downstairs. I was downstairs in the bar, the normal bar. Where the normal oh, people go. People. Yeah, and um, they said, oh, oh, Rio's upstairs. Do you want to speak to him? I said, Rio Ferdinand, my mate. Our yeah. Friend. yeah, the one I just spoke to. Yeah. yeah, oh, we come from three hours away. Explain the story. To come into our end. Yeah, well. No, no text. No, nothing. No call. Nothing at all. So, anyway, this was the room. So as, as we're here, <laughs> I, I'll show you how it went down. So, I come in, my two boys there, I leave them. He said I was in the corner, he's on that table there. And I looked from here, the, the, the setup was different. Steve Bruce and Alex Bruce, I hello, spoke to them for a minute. Could see him over there. He looked like he was about to fall to sleep, honestly. I'm not being, it, he was out, he was just weren't comfortable at all. Mark Stott was there, he's a top man, Stockport chairman. Rio, a couple of us, Gary Neville was there, Paul Scholes. So I knew it was a big hitter's table <laughs> and I hadn't been invited, do you know what I mean? So he said, So, it, I mean, is it, right? Yeah, it was like, oh, well, he's my mate, but he's pied me. So I feel like pieing him. I didn't, and I went and said hello to him. And you then, have to go, oh, this, that's what he was using. No, the football, weird thing was, no, this is the weird thing. So, you know, there's two things in there. If I bumped into you, we'd go, what's happening, Steve? You right, man? Real? All right? Yeah. Oh, it, was, is... it was more like this. Oh, yeah. No. He did me. No, he didn't. He did me. No, he didn't. He Hang shook on. me on. I go and sit in his seat and I'll show you exactly how it was. I'm gonna, it went like this, didn't it? it Walk through the door. Stay that side, yeah. Walk through the door. He went, oh, f it. I said, I, uh, uh, it was Paul Scholes. I don't know him, but uh, it's Paul Scholes, isn't it? Uh, hey, mate, nice to meet you, Gary Never, whatever. Hi, right, Mark, all right. And it was like this. But no. 15 years I've known the fella. Been all around the world with him. I've got no words. I can't believe I ain't been playing. Uh, all right, gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Right, here's the tactics for this week. Go on then. Do a goal. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. What? I was thinking more if... I reckon both of those things we win. 
What's the idea behind the round right. table? In the <clears> training <throat> grounds, it was a new thing. Round table's not square or rectangle. More sociable. Foreign lads come in, feel like they're on the corner. And a round table, everyone talk better. Manager of Stockport County, Dave Challenar, I call him Skip. He'll know it's from me. My first skipper. Ash Williams. I think it, for that side of the table, it's for smaller people. If the small staff go that side, the taller ones go this side, because... Logic, logic. Yeah. Man in the arena, one of the greatest quotes ever. Get that. That is a good quote. Banged him out. I'll be starting the next game. Player of the year. You're on it. Oh, damn. Wait, first we'll give, we'll give it to Joel. Seriously? I didn't want to mention it. Ashley Williams. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to bring that up, but seeing if you've, you've got it. But do you know what, Ash? So much like they care about you, you're in the cleaning cupboard. They should have retired it when I won it. We're never getting access again, are we? <laughs> it used to be mere. It didn't look like this. It, it didn't used to look this nice. I used to be here. That way you sat? Yeah. See, I like that the home dressing room's got a bit more about it than the away. Oh, it's always the case. No, but I, I do like that level of leave the home, Leave the away <laughs> dressing room you can. After Rio the other day, I just want to make it clear you've walked over the badge to like three or four times now. Don't put it on the floor. Walk round it. Have some respect. You stood marks all over that, Ash. What's the, what's the situation that we find ourselves in here? Is that how you find yourself on the weekend, Reds? No, I go, um, I go with a pair of sixes and a ten. Pair of sixes and a ten. So we matched up. So we go man for man, who's better? It's better man on centre half. What? Paddock and County? Yeah. Probably County. Do you being on account of being about eight leagues higher than us. So your lads are watching that and you're not backing them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want my 10 playing off my 9. Yeah. Nice well, and tight. Well, we can tight. talk to the gaffer about we're looking this. for a knockdown, yeah. right? Wingers have got to be wide. So you're old school. On the touch so, you're old, so you go long, you're old school, yeah? We're not going long. Well, you're Sean Dyche, you want a knockdown. No, no. He's got to play off him because we go up back and through, mate. Oh, so you quality balls into... All right, okay. All right. You can set your defence up how you want here. Are you, right. how are you defending me here? All right, well, we're going to just... We're going to go in. He's on the cover a little bit. He's what took him right in. He's in there. See, if I'm here, this is me, left side, centre half. Everyone's getting round me, yeah. And I want him right on my toes as well. So okay. everyone doing my job for me. <laughs> uh, pull these ones back in. We'll leave him. We'll, he causing you a problem there. And, and to be fair, against your paddock team, we're just going to gamble it. He's got my fullbacks in a half. What? You, you, these are your fullbacks? Mm -hmm. Pep Housen? Mate. What, are, what do you mean? There's only one manager. What, what's happening? Do you Center bring ups. your fullbacks in in these little inverted? Yeah. I don't think there's much of this anymore. Walk out. It's f have it, boy! Get a yellow card. Fortress swear. Edgeley. Touch it, touch it on. Touch it on. Why, why are you walking past? Isn't this a Liverpool thing? Vegas. Touch the sign that's been there 18 months. <sighs> Did you trip? Did he trip? Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> this is the away one, by the way. So if you're the home one, are you are you sitting here whilst it's going off? As gaffer? Yeah. No, I'm about here. <laughs> usually. Usually about a foot on the pitch. So you are, do you know what I Then think? all the way down here. Where's the technical area? Yeah. <laughs> What, Arteta? Right down here, Mikhail. come on. Mikel, come back. And I also think if the play was down there, if I'd be trying to impose myself across a little bit into the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, cross it, cross it. Trying to get a little, you're trying to get a bite out of these a little bit. You are, aren't you? You got to attack, he's He knows he's You know don't you? He's That stand there gets bouncing. Honestly, that was like my first bit of exposure to atmosphere. Where's the away fans going here? They go of a far side. I think they used to be behind the goal, but now they put them on the corner. 
But playing up the hill to that when that gets bouncing is good. They make some noise. Good fans, man. Seriously. Do you know every game I played here, I tried to clear that stand. <laughs> which is probably why sometimes when I did a diagonal later on in my career, I did Rose Ed. <laughs> I used to try and get one over that stand every time. What, when just for a clearance? Yeah, if it bounces one. Just to annoy a kit man. Or just that entertainment purposes for myself, if you've got a bit bored in the game. But you still got some wheels? No, I know I have. Why? What are you suggesting? You don't want this smoke. You want the smoke? I mean, you got it in you. To where? And then the line. There. <laughs> Wait, what, corner flag? Goal line, yeah, corner flag. I don't even need a warm up. Good, you're not getting one. one. <laughs> you're running. Hold <laughs> <sighs> 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 oh, on, hold on. Oh, no. no problem. Good race. The afterburners there, mate. Right then, this is Stockport County Training Ground. Hi. All right. Where did they um, train when you played for? Not here. It weren't like this. Didn't have a training ground. No, we had one. Power uh, League, seven no, to eight. Nah. <laughs> it was called Manor Farm. We weren't bad at the time, in Timperley. Oh, you mentioned that. Do you know that, it? Yeah, but it's, um, this, is a, this is a lot better. Feels nice, doesn't it? Playing some good stuff, aren't they? It's great to see the level so up close. <laughs> this close. Standing right there. You, on can the hear the, you can hear the noise of the lads, jeez. Yeah. Is that noise the bang at it? Yeah. The, the bang at it, yeah. Ellis. Hi, mate. Ash. Bardo, what's up, mate? You okay? Hey, mate. Right? How are you? Good to see you. Are you well? I'm all right. Yeah. How are you, mate? I'm all right, yeah. Just trying to get, uh, trying to get fit after another, another knee up. So it's hard work. You know what it's like, Ash, when you a couple of niggles, you get a little bit older. It's not as easy as, as it used to be to get back on the grass. So Rehabbing's just horrible, isn't oh, it? This, when morning, the out. this morning was tough. Like, first time I've been on the grass for a couple of weeks and just oh, blowing the cobwebs off. But I'm just thinking, what am I doing here? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That stage of your life where you're obviously getting a little bit older and stuff. But yeah, still try to enjoy it. The well. boys have probably benefited off your experience just being in and around, in and around the building and stuff. Because they, they've done well over the season, pushing on and hopefully you know, they can try and sneak, nick into one of them top three spots. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I come in a bit later, obviously, after Christmas, but they had a bit of a slow start and then picked up mid-season. When you come in? Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they've obviously went on a, a very good run and we're in, a, we're in a good position now. It's been nice to be involved and hopefully brought some fun, something to the party. You know, it's not played as many minutes as I'd like, but um, just being around, you know, the lads and, and trying and help them uh, with my experience, you know, in, the, in and around the training ground. So. Hopefully it me, played me part a little bit. Do you know a funny story? I, was, I don't know, you won't remember it, but I played for, I had a reserve game for Stockport County and he, and he was playing, I don't know what the team you sent out, but it's meant to be your reserves. And we played at Woodley, so Stockport Sports Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a little silver 206 <laughs> Peugeot pulled up. I don't know, I think you might have had a Bentley or something, I don't know. What age? For who? I was, I was at Stockport, you was at United. Oh, yeah, so it would have been it, a Bentley then. What was that more? Well, it was to. Uh, I had a Persia, so whatever, yeah. And I remember he pulled you up. You had a 206, I had a 306. No, but you probably. was like, there was only probably you and I can't remember, maybe one of the first team yeah, players, yeah. all young lads. Yeah, yeah. And I just remember just looking at the motor thinking, F I'm on one of them one day. Hey, and the thing is, now I'm driving home in a 206 and he's got his Lambo. <laughs> 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 yes, lads, how are we doing? Ash, good right. to have you back. Awesome. Steve, welcome to Stockport County Training Grounds. You've got access to everything on the inside, so I'll come and give you a little tour. Let's have a look then, mate. The pitch on the wall somewhere here, Ash, or what? No, we covered that at the stadium. <laughs> couple at the stadium. Some food. Well, what's on the menu, though? Meatballs. Fire. You okay? Well, that's gone down well, hasn't it? 
You can't just do what you want when you when you're not playing. Uh, uh, you can't just do oh what you God. want. You have to look after yourself. That'd be me. There, salad bowl there. Shape when you was playing. I know. Yeah, I'm in better shape now. Yes. That's the mad thing. Shredded. So we've got the players' lounge here. Lads coming here in the morning after a bit of breakfast. You've got a space that's comfortable, where like this, like lads aren't shooting off home. You get a bit of team spirit, yeah, which obviously with yeah. the sofas and the telly on us. I think it's important that. It makes a difference on the weekend, I think. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. When I was here, which was what, 20 years ago, we didn't have, the whole building was about as big as this room. So you can see how far the clubs come. Oh, it's curtains. And that's why he is who he is. <laughs> Paddy Madden, see him right there. Yeah, obviously as a senior member of the squad, obviously I've been around this block a lot, you know, with EFL. A um, couple of promotions out of EFL, a couple of playoffs. So. I think the stage of the season is about remaining positive and keeping all the boys on their toes and knowing that we're good enough to do it. You know, when you're getting 10,000 uh, fans at a game in League Two, it's, uh, you know, it's a good following, even away games. Um, I remember last year we played Eastley away, a long, long trek down, and there was like 1,200 uh, fans travelled down. So you know, I don't think they realise how important they are to the lads. You know, the lads always speak about the good atmospheres after the games, especially after a win, and how much the, the fans got us over the line to get them three points. What ones would you wear? I oh, think not. you'd be. Let me choose a pair for oh, you. Oh, go on then, yeah, let me choose if a you, pair. If you was playing, right, you'd be this. No. Big metal studs hurt people. No. No? More. Oh, they're nice. They're very nice. Oh, look at that. You I can't, like, if you're wearing I them, like you can't have boot. a bad touch. I like a bad You can't boot. blame the boot. That's a bit of you right there, mate. Hey, I've literally got a pair of them. <laughs> David May Classic. Shout out, Puma. Pink ones with an ankle. Who's it is? They'd be Martinez. Oh, You'd be Martinez. Get or him whatever. out of here. We're, we're... Uh, he's gone. <laughs> of course he's gone. He because he's not doing extras. Well, he because no. He wore them the other night. He scored it in the first time. It's not excuse. We're in the canteen. And, um... I can't go. I'm going to take the face out of it. No fucking meatballs left. <laughs> <laughs> You're having me off about being a vegan. Can we get that plate of food? Hey, get that down, yeah. You'll feel better for it. This is a healthy, nutritious meal that I definitely asked for. The potatoes are lovely. Potatoes are I right. can vouch for that. Yeah. Currently injured, how is that going? Uh, it's a long one to be fair. So I've been out since, since Boxing Day. Um, I fractured the inside of my ankle and ripped my ligaments off the outside. So Oof. I had double surgery and it's about 10th of January, so I'm mm. still, still just starting grass sessions now, back running. How frustrating is it seeing the lads and obviously they're doing well and you can't go and affect it? It's frustrating but I'd rather see the lads doing well than, not, see, than, yeah. than watching and it's, they're not performing well and not getting results. I find that harder because yeah. I'm not in a position to help. So it makes it easier when they're doing well. Kit room. Oh. Mom. Same kit man that I had. How is it? Terrible crap. Lando! Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing again? Yeah, printing these for JJ. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never ends. Come on in. No work. This is this is my old kit, man. Still does nothing. Yes, every day. Hides in here. Doing nothing. Can I do one? Yeah, of course you can. What we, what do we put on them? Put on there, Ash. Yeah. Literally like that? Yeah. Down. Pull it down. All the way down. Put them with that black dial, yeah. Where? That's it. Ten seconds, Ash, then push it back up. You have to be a rocket scientist, do you? <laughs> Are we still going? You're done. You have to be level. Look at that. Did you take it off? Peel it off, yeah. If anyone needs a kit man out there, there I go. am available. Look at that. Get a close up on that. Not wonky like it is. Perfect. These are all the lads that don't, are in no rush to get home <laughs> for whatever reason. School runs and all that. <laughs> nice, live your trip. Do you know what the Norma Tech does scientifically? Not scientifically, no. Do you know scientifically? It's like flushing all like stuff. It's flushing all like, like flushing the light stuff out. No one knows, but it makes you feel better, I don't know. 
Damn. Not reporting an illness or injury by 8 a.m. and unable to train next session. 50 notes. Late to medicals, 25 quid or 15 quid. Phones, boots, drink in the medical room, spin the wheel. Where's the wheel? Oh yeah, where's the wheel? Where's the wheel? Right, here we go. Two staff members dance off. Lose a £30 away game treats. That's sensational. £10 fine per man. No fine. Oh, these treats on here. What's that one? Team bar boot warmer. Time. Team bar boot warmer times three. I don't know. Is that some sort of inside joke? What the hell is that? Team bar grenade bars box each. All right, fair enough. Team clean boots day before next game. Team go to big wheel spin each. A big wheel? There's another wheel. Is there two wheels? Now we've got the big wheel. Play a car wash, pay for two players. I, see, I got excited there because I thought you've got to go wash it yourself. Yeah. Now that's some entertainment. Nominate staff member to spin. Oh, that's a good treat, that one, isn't it? Fill mouth with water, laugh fine. <laughs> Receive £50 voucher of choice of teammate. Warm up in boxers and boots. Jeez. Get your car cleaned, spin teammate. Nominate teammate to take spin. Silent disco, poem, teammate lap dance. Okay. Five pound off every squad member. Thursday cakes, 40 pound worth. Sing, no phone. I like the brackets, no phone. All right, spin the wheel, Ash. let's see what you would have got. Not doing it, by the way. Spin to win. Nominate, uh, nominate staff st member. See. Oh, receive fifty pound voucher off the teammate, Joel. <laughs> Skip. Hi, mate. How are you? Great I'm good. Thanks. Great how are you, you, mate? You okay? Really good. Right. I want to know how do you prepare because you're obviously pushing for an automatic promotion place, which I'm, I'm assuming is the, the goal. But then, if you don't get that, how do you flip that into? All right, it was playoffs was what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose through experience, because I've been in this situation many times before, and, and I think unless you're absolutely streets ahead in terms of like a like a late order, I suppose in this 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 year for in our division, then you have about four different plans going on, and then plans go from now in terms of recruitment, in terms of pre-season, in terms of all them different things. So it's something that. I think the first time you do it is pretty daunting because everything can be put on hold. Um, but the more and more you do it, I suppose you get used to having about four different four different plans. Um, so, so you're doing it, you're thinking recruitment for if you we end up staying in this division or if you go up. Absolutely, that because wow. everything, everything changes based based on based on budgets, based on what players you'd be looking to potentially bring in, what players you're looking to keep, what our squad looks like currently whether players that we're looking at will come to League Two, whether it's just League One for them. So you're spinning plates all over the place. Thankfully, Simon takes a lot of the uh, the load in terms of being able to do that. And oh, direct football. Yeah, direct the football. And I love match day um, and I love coming in here and everything, but how big of a part do you think that these fans that we know so well have played and can play for you, especially in these home games? Yeah, they absolutely play, they play a huge part. I said when I, when I first came, I, I came obviously from, from Hartlepool, I said exactly the same there. In terms of a, a fan base, having a, a big home following can be the best thing, can be a huge strength, but it can be a, a sort of millstone around people's mm -hmm. necks, if you like, if things aren't going well, and all of a sudden you have a fan base that quite rightly would go, well, we were in the championship 20 years yeah. ago, and now we're playing National League North football. You've got to move on from that. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change. All that means is that everybody wants to beat Stockport. Mm -hmm. We go to the National League exactly the same. You come into the League Two this year and we're, we're favourites before a ball's kicked to win the league. When you look at statistics in the last 10 years of 20 teams, only two have ever gone up okay. consecutively yeah. and one's done that automatically. So it was always going to be a, a big ask. If you can get everybody aligned in terms of where we are and accept that that's what we are now, yeah, we aspire to be there. We're not there. Everybody then goes on that that journey. Mm -hmm. The one thing that's going to be a constant is the supporters, because along that journey, somewhere we hope not, but somewhere along the way, everybody in here is going to fall off. Mm -hmm. I might fall off at some at some point. Mm -hmm. Not that I want to. The players will change. That will the, the supporters will re remain a constant. It's their their team, and I think with Mark coming in and the 
plans that he put in place and the optimism that he gave everybody, they now almost feel like they've got the club back. There's a little bit of, like I say, real optimism around where the club can go. All the things, not only he said, he's, he's, he's come, come true on all of his, yeah. a lot of his promises at, at the moment and will continue to do that. And the club's only going in one direction. That makes it a special place to be with some special nights. We've got to worry that, or got to make sure that we don't almost feel a little bit entitled. All of a sudden now we're yeah. up there this top. We can't have that entitlement um, yeah. feeling again. Just keep pushing it. And I, I know they will. Right, that was on the inside at Stockport County with me and Ash. Let's hope they get promoted. They're in a decent spot, but it's going to be tight. And I've heard a little rumour that the big cheese, Mark has said, if they get promoted, we can come back and have meatballs. Well, it's been a fun day. That's inside Stockport County from me and Steve. I have enjoyed this. That was good. It's been a good day. Let us know where should we go next. Maybe look at where Ash has played. It's probably the easiest ones to get into. But, you know, that's where we're going probably.